So to get to your O2 sensor, you're gonna to wanna to get it off the ground a little. I use ramps for this one. Today we're gonna to check out the O2 sensor because it shows us that we have a bad something or other. Oh, and as we look at it, it looks like, it looks like we hit something and tore the O2 sensor uh, wire. So we gotta peel that back. They sprayed that with a little bit of um, penetrant oil. We might be able to fix this without changing it, but that's definitely the problem right there. So I think this is about a 21 millimeter. I gotta check. This is where the plug is, right underneath here. So this is definitely the issue. Probably got pulled from right there and that's what's doing it because the wires aren't broken over here. We're just gonna disconnect it and see. Okay, so we're gonna put a wrench on here. See if we can break it loose. Oh, it came right off. See, on a newer car, you get lucky like that. On an older car, not so lucky. I didn't find anything wrong with this, but there's definitely some trauma, so it probably pulled out a wire over here, um, and it doesn't work. I ordered one on eBay. It was $16, has the right plug. So we're going to uh, install it. So if you look up in here, there's a little clip that you want to get it into. It's plastic right there. And then there's that one to put the wire in. I'm going to zip tie it all together anyhow because we got a little damage here. But that's all nice and easy. So besides all the lights being on, the check engine light's going to be is on. And we can probably just shut that off. What we're going to do is we're going to grab the just a basic scanner and uh, clear the code and see if it comes back. So the light, uh, the check engine light over here went out and so let's just shut off the car and see if it comes back on. Okay, we're good.